Despite being carnivores, cats often eat plants. Although it may seem harmless, we need to be careful with the plants we grow in our homes and gardens, as some can be very toxic to them. If you want to know which types of plant, we show you the 10 most dangerous for cats. Depending on the type of toxic plant with which our cat has come in contact, they will develop different symptoms. The most common disorders and health problems caused by intoxication are gastrointestinal disorders, neurological issues, heart problems, allergic dermatitis, and even renal failure. The most common toxic plants which can cause serious damage to a cat's nervous and digestive system are the following. Oleander. The main issues concern gastrointestinal problems, but depending on the amount ingested, Olander can lead to respiratory distress, arrhythmia, or cardiac arrest in extreme cases. It can also cause fever and drowsiness. Azalea. Azalea also mainly affects the digestive system, resulting in diarrhea, vomiting, and excessive salivation. In small quantities, a lack of coordination and hallucinations may be provoked. Ingesting higher amounts can cause acute digestive damage, respiratory distress, heart problems, seizures, hypertension, coma, and even death in severe cases. Dumb cane. All parts of this plant are toxic to cats, so they can be damaged by ingestion or direct contact. Direct contact leads to dermatological disorders such as irritation, inflammation, redness, or even blisters. Ingestion causes a burning sensation in the mouth, meaning cats usually will stop eating it immediately. Ivy. All parts of this plant are poisonous, with their fruit being especially dangerous. It causes gastrointestinal disorders such as diarrhea and vomiting, as well as spasms and increased heart rate. Additionally, mere contact with the skin develops dermatitis and rashes in our cat. In the most serious cases where the plant is consumed, it can be fatal. Before detailing the five remaining plants, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with everything we share. Hydrangea. Both the leaves and flowers are toxic, with the most common symptoms of poisoning typical of gastrointestinal disorders, including diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Depending on the amount ingested, it can affect the nervous system and cause motor skill problems such as incoordination. Hyacinth. Although the flowers are toxic, the most dangerous part for cats is the bulb. It causes digestive disorders such as gastrointestinal irritation, diarrhea, and vomiting. Lilies. Ingesting this toxic plant for cats mainly produces digestive disorders such as diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and even malaise. In the most severe cases, it can cause hypertension and increase feline blood pressure. Marijuana. Although it is illegal to have this plant at home, you should know that its intake is highly toxic to the cat. Symptoms they will present include a lack of coordination, vomiting, diarrhea, excessive drooling, seizures, increased heart rate, and in the worst cases, coma. Poinsettia, one of the most common plants in homes during winter, and at the same time, one of the most toxic for cats. If ingested, it can cause digestive disorders which cause diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. In cases of direct contact with the sap of the plant, this will cause irritation to the skin and eyes of the cat, itching and rashes. Narcissus. All varieties of Narcissus are toxic to cats as a whole. Skin irritation develops with direct contact, while ingestion produces serious gastrointestinal problems such as vomiting and acute diarrhea, inflammation and abdominal pain. Related cardiac disorders can lead to the death of the animal. Here ends our video for today. Do you have any plants at home you're worried about? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.